Okay, I want to do a reading and just see what the uh, overall view is going to be by the uh, Democrats on this Kavanaugh report, you know, when they see it. <clears throat> Let's see what their view is. Are they going to think it's so thorough and just clears up all the doubts about Kavanaugh? You know, <laughs> so we haven't heard anything from the uh, Democrats yet, having viewed that report, a single report under lock and key. Which, you know, tells me it's probably so bad, so skewed, that they don't want it leaked. Okay. So let's just see what we have here. some more room here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Well, at the center of it all is, you know, well, the Mercers, the Koch brothers, the wealth, the, the stuff standing they have in there, and what's rapidly coming forward, because this was done very quickly, is basically, you know, a temporary you know, temporary foundation of a win, you know, that they see that basically this is kind of a bought and paid for thing, that they were uh, really hogtied with things coming into it. They have no illusions about, you know, this was, uh, you know, they were supposed to get to the temperance. They were supposed to get to the good and the bad. They were supposed to look at both sides of it. But they see... This was just a way to get him out of trouble and, and not really look at it. To be blind to the actual things, that it was a, a setup, it was skewed, a way just to get Kavanaugh through. Okay, underneath of it, Dominion. Dominion, the power, although, is justice, okay? that eventually justice will win out. You know, they're shedding a light on it, you know, and, and again, it could also be read as the shedding a light on that they're trying to dominate the system uh, to get him in, okay? They're trying to dominate the system to get him in. And above it, you know, 
We've had the Republican agenda rushing, you know, with their poor me saga. They're just so horrible to Kavanaugh. He's just such a great family man. You know, when we're going to present that to the world, we're going to present that to the world, okay? So that's what's above it. We're trying to, to dominate, get him in, paint this rosy picture of him when in his youth, you know, again, you know, skewing the investigation just to move him through and not to have the, the full thing. It's, it's skewed. So what we have going out of it, this is what's telling. Tower, okay, tower. They see that this is, you know, eventually he's gonna be bound and they're looking forward. They're looking in the distance to bringing this down to, to again, uh, to uh, reevaluate and to bring it down later. So they have no illusions. They're looking forward to, and I'm sure that they're talking amongst themselves, like I said, if he gets in with this skewed drama that they're looking at later, impeaching him, they're looking towards the distance, okay? They're looking towards the distance, okay? At the house, that at this tower falling and them again binding him. So again, don't despair. They know that this is a farce. They're gonna probably come out and say it's absolutely ridiculous. But make no mistake, they're looking for the future of bringing down his house of cards and impeaching him, okay? So that's what I see. This is going to be the uh, Democratic take on uh, what just happened with this FBI, this faux FBI report, you know, that the uh, McConnell's out there crowing about now and that uh, Graham is saying, why don't you just dunk him in the water and see if he floats? It's a witch hunt. It's always been a witch hunt. Well, yeah, uh-huh. You know, they can be paid off by Koch brothers and by the Mercers but eventually, justice will triumph, okay? And they will get to the bottom of the genuine report. They will do a report later, a genuine report, and uh, they know they will be able to, they're looking at future to impeach him and bring down that tower, okay? So we will see that later. Thank you for tuning in. And for the questions, aho, have a great day. I will see you online.